Calafia Candle Company. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2024. Kind of took a little bit of a break there for the holiday season and it was really nice and I feel refreshed and ready to jump back into YouTube. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season with your friends and family and I'm really looking forward to this fresh start with the new year and what I have in store for my business. So I figured I would kind of share that with you guys in this video and just kind of share what I've been working on behind the scenes here and my plans for 2024. And yes, I do still have my Christmas decorations up. We've been out of town and we're going out of town again tomorrow. So haven't had time to take them down yet, but don't mind that. So let's go ahead and get started. So primarily what I've been working on here behind the scenes during my little break has been a whole lot of testing. If you have watched my previous videos, you know that I am switching my vessels. So with that comes testing all over again. And it kind of started a domino effect of, well, if I have to test again, I might as well start testing different fragrance oils because I've been thinking about changing them up anyway and also might as well test out different waxes since I have to start over. So that's just kind of led me down this testing path right now. So that is what I'm currently working on. This is a different wax than I normally use. This is the Titan 51104, I think it is, from Hive and Honey Candle Co. And it is a cocoa soy wax. So it has soy, coconut, palm waxes, and a small amount of paraffin. And I really have been liking it so far. I did just blow this out and then I thought, oh, I should have filmed that. I might have some footage of it burning. I'll put in if I do, but this is a LX18 and I used the chamomile shea fragrance oil from Porter Candle Supply, which I really like. I do think it is a lighter fragrance. So the hot throw was not blowing me away too much, but I also do have it in a large room right now, so. I'll have to test it in a smaller space, but I have really been liking this wax so far. I do need to play around with it a little bit more. Lola says happy new year to everybody. And so does Colette. So here's an example of some fragrance testers that I have here. I just have been pouring them in these mini modern ceramic tumblers from Candle Science, just to kind of get an idea of what the scent smells like poured into the candle wax. And I do want to incorporate these vessels into my line somehow, but they have been a little bit of a pain to wick so far in my testing because my wax takes really small wicks. So I try to do a single wick and it seems like it just leaves a little bit too much hang up around the sides, even when it gets all the way to the bottom. Um, but I do have some other wicks I can try for single wick testing. And then with double wick, it just, it burns too hot. So I've tried CDN2, LX8 double wicks, and they just burn too hot in my wax. So I still will play around with a single wick in that vessel, but they do um, look really nice. And I think they are a great size option to have additionally to the larger size. So I've been playing around with a lot of Porter Candle Supply and Simbi fragrance oils. Here are just some of the fragrance oils I've been testing from Simbi and Porter Candle Supply. And I've really been loving these ones. As you can see, I did go back and purchase larger bottles of some of them because I just absolutely love them. And the reason I am redoing my line as far as fragrance oils go is because I'm just looking to elevate everything this year. I want to make everything a little bit more luxurious and I feel like fragrance oil can definitely do that for you. So that is kind of why I'm retesting everything. And these have all just been so great. I've also really been loving these ones here as well. So we'll see what I end up going with, but Currently just still in testing mode. Another thing that I've done to kind of elevate my business has been ordering candle care cards professionally made. So I do love making them at home and being able to print them out at home just for the pure fact that I can change them whenever I need to. If I get bored of the design, I can change it up. 
So I do like making them at home for that reason, but I do think there is something about having them professionally made on nice cardstock that just sort of elevates your business. So I did design these on Canva and ordered them through Vistaprint and I'm really excited to see what they look like in person. And it, I, it took me a long time to figure out what design I wanted to go with because I am ordering so many of them and I'm not making them at home. I wanted to make sure I was completely happy with them. So I did decide to do a little beach background because I was doing some reflecting during my little break, just of, you know, my vision for the future of my business. And I feel like in the beginning, I did kind of have that beachy vibe um, that is kind of the basis of my business. Calafia is a beach in San Clemente where I grew up and so much of my business was focused around that, but I kind of lost that along the way. So I'm looking to bring in more of that beach aspect, but still keeping it nice and not too beachy casual, you know, just a happy medium, but I wanted to incorporate that back into my business. So that is the design I ended up going with and I really love how they look. I did also order some new business cards as well. So everything will be cohesive and I still do need to work on wax melt care cards and um, if I do like a concrete decor care card. So I still need to make those, but just wanted to get the ball rolling on the business cards and the candle care cards. Now the one downfall about this vessel in my opinion is it is difficult to label. Because of the shape of it, it's really hard to get a label on there and not have it bubble, as you can see. And I did go with kind of this vertical label thinking that would help alleviate that issue, but on the top there, you can still see the bubbles. Maybe if I move it down just a little bit more, they'll go away. I don't know, we'll see. But I have been trying to think of what I wanna do for that. And also just changing the packaging that the candles come in because I typically do this gift box here and these new vessels do fit in there perfectly. But my one concern is the space here around the sides. I used to use crinkle paper with my concrete vessels and I never had any issues with the crinkle paper scratching the outside of the vessel. But with these, they are, they seem to be really susceptible to marks. So I don't want to just stuff crinkle paper in there and potentially scratch the vessel. So I've kind of been thinking of going the canvas bag route and I just put a little stamp on there and those fit great in there. But then that brings me to needing a lid because when you close the bag and, um, package it, the top of this will get squished down into the candle and it's just going to create a mess. So then that leads me to needing a lid, which was a whole nother path. So this is just where my brain has been at, as you can see, just trying to brainstorm on what packaging will work the best. So I did order um, a few lids from Dulceria and I really like how they look, but then the one concern with this is that they leave marks on the inside, as you can see there. So I don't know what route I'm gonna go with for packaging yet, but we'll see. Let's see, I don't really think that looks the best, but I do really like how the lid looks. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. It's still a work in progress. See, I do really like how that looks in the bag. And then I was thinking of creating a little tag with the name of the candle scent on there. And the name of the candle scent is also on the warning label as well, but I don't know, we'll see. We will see what I end up going with, but if anybody has any suggestions or ideas, I'm open to hearing anything. And this should come as no surprise because I've changed my mind a million times on my wax melt packaging, but I am looking at changing it again. I'm just not in love with the look of this. I 
did switch to, um, wait, what? I'm trying to remember what I switched to. Oh, I had those eco-friendly plastic bags that I was kind of sliding the snap bar into. That just took way too long. So then actually Candle Science came out with these clamshells that are recyclable. So I ordered those and I do like the ease of these, but I just don't love the plastic look. I, I kind of want to get away from that. So I purchased the little bee silicone molds. I see a lot of people use these and I think they're so cute. And I was thinking of kind of doing a similar thing to the candle where I can somehow get those in a little canvas bag or something. So that is also still on the brainstorm wagon, but just lots of ideas bouncing around here. And this is just what it's like to be a business owner, especially in a handmade business. So that is what I've been up to over here and just some of the changes I'm planning to make for 2024. My goal for this year really is just to elevate my business and grow. I really want to grow it in the wholesale market. So hopefully that will be successful for me this year. And I'm wishing everyone else lots of success in their own business ventures. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful or relatable. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.